So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 over the square root of 3 of 4 times t squared minus 1 over t to the fourth minus 1 dt. So let's just rewrite our integral. So 0, 1 over the square root of 3, uh, 4 times t squared minus 1 over t to the fourth minus 1 dt. So in order to solve this, the first thing that we got to do is uh, factor the bottom out, and then we're going to use it to cancel out the top. So t squared minus 1 over, and then uh, t to the fourth power minus 1 is going to become t squared plus 1 times t squared minus 1. That's just a perfect square, right? So we can factor that out. So if we factor that, and it becomes t squared plus 1 over t squared minus 1, we see that the top and bottom cancel, right? So that would cancel. And then so we're just left with 1 over t squared plus 1. So it's basically just 4 times uh, 1 over t squared plus 1 times dt. And so let's just rewrite our integral actually. So 0, 1 over the square root of 3 of 4 times 1 over t squared plus 1 dt. And so what you need, so basically what we need to do now is just take the antiderivative of our inside, evaluate it at those. Then we'll get our answer right. So let's take the antiderivative of this. So what you should realize is that, or like it should seem uh, familiar, that the derivative of the arctangent of t is equal to 1 over t squared plus 1, right? So if that's the case, then the antiderivative of this is going to be the arctangent of t. So basically, we just have 4 times the arctangent of t, right? Because it's just the constant. And so now that we got it like this, we just got to write it like this, and then we're going to evaluate it at 1 over the square root of 3, get a value, minus, and then get a value, whatever it is at 0, put it there. So let's evaluate it at 1 over the square root of 3 first. So 4 times the arctangent of 1 over the square root of 3. So what is the arctangent of 1 over the square root of 3? Uh, you can plug it in your calculator, but... Basically, it's just asking what angle does this equal. So basically, it's going to be at uh, power 6, right? You can think about that, right? Because that sine, uh, the sine of power 6 is going to be equal to 1 half. And the cosine of power 6, right? Because tangent is just sine over cosine. The cosine is going to be rad 3 over 2, which will just simplify to 1 over the square root of 3. So basically, we just have 4 times power over 6 which becomes 4 pi over 6, then we can simplify, divide by 2, 2 pi over 3. So basically, uh, this is going to be equal to, this right here is going to be equal to 2 pi over 3. Then we got to evaluate it at 0, right? So 4 times the arctan of 0. So the arctan of 0 is just 0, right? So if that's just 0, then if we multiply by 4, we're just going to get 0. So basically, we're subtracting 0. If you subtract 0, it's basically not doing anything. So it's just going to become 2 pi over 3. And so our final answer is just going to be 2 pi over 3.